Today, hundreds of Muslims from all over the state of Texas gathered at the steps of the Capitol for Texas Muslim Capitol Day. And this year, the political climate drew a bigger crowd and more security. Fox 7's Casey Claiborne with that story. Regardless of what is going on in Washington, we have come here today to express and to articulate the fact that this is what America looks like. Yeah. Hundreds of Muslims and even those of other faiths came from all over the state today for Texas Muslim Capital Day. Mustafa Carroll, executive director for the Houston chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, says the point is to get people involved. To demystify government, uh, to get them to be more politically active and be concerned with the community at large, not just about Muslims, but about things that are happening in our community. After the rally, attendees typically meet with lawmakers to discuss legislation they support. This year, the rally was different. We have a new president, one that just signed an executive order banning citizens from seven nations from entering the U.S. for at least 90 days, something on Muslims. I'm, I'm disappointed to say the least in the president, but I expected it. He said he was going to do it. He said he was going to stop Muslims from coming in the country till he found out what was going on. So he's living up to his word. This year, attendees linked arms, forming a physical barrier, a symbol of solidarity. But it also made it nearly impossible for something like what happened in 2015 to happen again. I proclaim the name of the Lord Jesus Christ over the capital of Texas. I stand against Islam and the false prophet Muhammad. Islam will never dominate the United States, and by the grace of God, it will not dominate Texas. This time, there were a few counter-protesters, but they didn't get close to the steps until after the rally. They're not here to assimilate. They're here to oppress us with uh, Sharia law. Trump supporter Jake Crosby says he came to video the rally. He said he supports their right to free speech and assembly. I think that shows that we're not we're not a bigoted country. We're not a uh, Islamophobic country. Mustafa Carroll says Muslim Day organizers approached both Capitol DPS and Austin police about beefing up security after what happened in 2015. They even hired some extra security officers and were a little uneasy about being outside. But he says everything went fine. I, I didn't expect. They told me we were going to have like 200 folks here. I, I, I beg to differ. They probably had close to 1,000, maybe 800. But it was wonderful. To conclude the rally, CARE DFW Executive Director Aliyah Salem made a couple of unorthodox thank yous. Kyle Biederman and President Trump. Everybody's like, no way, I'm not clapping. They're the ones whose actions have inspired you to be here today. And I am grateful to see that hate can turn into absolute love. Casey Claiborne, Fox 7 News.